Well, I said it was going to be a kid's movie, so I scoured the internet. All my many, many streaming services and YouTube looking for the best kid's movie I could pick. And originally, it was going to be All Dogs Go to Heaven. But I thought, I want something even better for these people. So I picked the greatest kid's movie ever made. Chucky e. Cheese in the Galaxy 5000. Now, this movie was made in 1999, but the graphics harken back, the CGI harkens back to the Super Nintendo era, which is almost all CGI. Now, this movie is truly a classic, starring Chucky e. Cheese himself. And we all know how great Chuck E. Cheese is. The rat with the most. Starring Chuck E. Cheese. His friend Helen the Hen. Jasper the dog. Munch, who gets his name because that's what he likes to do to assholes. And we can't forget Pasquale, who's just one luck away from saying, It's me! It's a me! Mario! Now, this movie starts with Chucky, Helen, Jasper, and Munch going into Pasquale's eatery and Pasquale inviting the cameraman in. And everyone in the eatery saying hello to Chucky and the gang. And they sit down, and Pasquale pulls up a chair and introduces us to Charlie Rocket, who has a problem. He needs $50,000 to buy his aunt and uncle a new tractor. Which, by the way, is code for buying himself Ferrari. So Pasquale tells them about the Galaxy 5000. Intergalactic race held on Orion. Which, by the way, Orion is not a planet. It's a nebula with lots of planets. But in this movie, it's a planet. Where... Where speed records have recently been broken by the X team. They've broken Vega 2 speed records on an obstacle course. Now, Helen, Munch, and Jasper originally don't want to do go. But then Chucky sings a song, and Helen and Munch sing along, and that convinces Jasper to go. Of course, whenever Chucky sings a song, everyone in the pizzeria sings along. So that's how this movie goes. So they get in the machine that takes them to Orion, and we are introduced to the Super Nintendo CGI. Once there, they meet the X-Racers, who beat up a guy who asked them about their cheating last year, and who immediately hit on Helen the Hen. Of course, Helen rebuffs their hitting, and they threaten to beat her up. Chucky gets in the way, and they threaten to beat him up. Until their leader, Dr. Zoom, my favorite character in the whole movie, tells them to prove it on the raceway. Then they go looking for Pasquale's old friend, Flapjack, who is doing a bad southern accent. Not as bad as Jasper's, though. To show them their race car. Which is Pasquale's old race car. And Ed is a piece of junk. Then we meet Astrid, who proceeds to hit on Chucky, a human woman. But Helen rebuffs her. But then Chucky rebuffs Helen, which sends Helen off mad. Because she is a thing for Chucky, which is clear. And Chucky says he'll meet, he'll meet Astrid in the soda shop after the time trials. And he, him and Jasper agree that they're going to work with Flapjack to fix the racer up so they can win the race. Helen then sings a song about how she's got the, hot, how she's got the hots for Chucky and when will Chucky notice her. And I've got two words. I got one word for her. Two words for her, 
big boobs. Astrid's boobs are little. If she has big boobs, Chuck, you go wild for her. <laughs> so then we go to the, then we go to a qualifying race, which really isn't a qualifying race because whoever is in it just races in the race. It's much more like a time trial, which it really isn't a time trial because you're in time trial you get a spot. The spot just seemed random in the race, but whatever. It's a reason to see Chucky race. And Chucky and them are taking the taking the Songbird, which is the name of their race car, out for their race name of their revamped race car out for a race. And they hit Vega 2 speeds. But Chucky can't see in Vega 2 speeds. And so they come in last place. Then at the soda shop, Chucky is depressed because he can't handle it in Vega 2 speeds. But Helen has now hooked up with the X team, who seem proud to be hooking up with a chicken. This movie is weird, so I, 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 I'm not getting into this whole bestiality thing. Astrid says Chucky will do better tomorrow. And Jasper sings a song about how they don't have a chance. So then Helen goes back to the X Team's Dr. Zoom's warehouse, which the X Team says they use as a bachelor pad. And they sing about how they use Zoom gas to get ahead. Which helps them see in Vega 2 speeds. And then Dr. Zoom and the X-Team take Helen hostage. This is very important to the story. Because they're going to liquefy Helen. After that, Chucky goes off on his own. To try to, to control it in Vega 2 speeds. Through Dead Man's Canyon. Which is... Kind of a canyon. I mean, it's in between mountains, but whatever. He crashes into a hermit who is played by Pasquale, pretending to be a hermit with a Scott Jackson, who then decides to train Chucky. And this is the only really good song in the movie. Well, it's the only song I like in the movie. And it's a training montage song. And they train till morning. Astrid, though, because we cut away from the training montage at one point after the song is over, and Astrid leaves the Chucky team and hooks up with the X team. <clears throat> in the morning, Chucky is trained and the songbird is fixed and Chucky goes off to race. Meanwhile, at the racetrack, Helen escapes the X-Team and hits, hits Dr. Zoom on the head with a frying pan. Surprisingly, Dr. Zoom does not get very injured. There's no blood in this movie, because once again, it is a kid's movie, and people don't think kids like blood. They apparently never met me or my brother or my nephew who all watched a lot of horror movies as kids. Because we loved the sight of blood. We loved horror movies as kids. The more blood in the horror movie, the better. But Helen gets away with the rest of the chickens. And Chucky comes back just in time to race. And they go into Vega 2 speed, which Chucky can easily control now. But the X-Team goes into Vega 2 speed and hits a smoke screen on him, causing Chucky to fly under the radar and into the Black Forest. There's always a Black Forest in these movies. Always a Black Forest. I mean, I think in Lord of the Rings there was a Black Forest. I think in a bunch of fantasy movies there's a Black Forest. A lot of adventure movies there's a Black Forest. Everybody has a black forest. Why isn't there ever a green forest? 
or pink forest or red forest. You know what I really want to see? A blue forest. I don't know what would be in a blue forest, but I want to see a blue forest in a movie. But they're in the black forest. Chucky refuses to take it out of Vega 2 because he can see it. But when he gets out of the black forest, they're in last place. So Chucky, so they sing a song about going into Vega 3, and he goes into Vega 3 speeds. Why they put Vega 3 on there when Vega 2 was the top speeds, I don't know. But they did, and he goes into Vega 3 and wins the race. But Helen, back at the racetrack, reports, the, reports to the police what Dr. Zoom and the X-Racers did, and they get arrested. And then Chucky and the gang sing a song at the end, which is an annoying song. And everybody dances, including the pizza delivery guy, who I guess is happy he delivered all his pizzas. This movie isn't very good. I mean, the CGI is terrible. The story is terrible. Chuck E. Cheese is really annoying. They should have killed that rat when they first seen it. I mean, it might be good for kids. Um, I highly recommend this movie. Go watch it. It's on YouTube. It's Chuck E. Cheese and Galaxy 5000. 12 out of 10 stars. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. My latest masterpiece. I got this caught on something. The song for the Chuck E. Cheese movie called the Bestiality Song because there's a lot of bestiality in this movie. I mean, there's women tongue hanging up, hanging out with Chucky. There's women hanging out with, there's men hanging out with Helen. Hopefully, this comes in under eighteen minutes. If you want to fuck a rat, they say no, no. But if that rat... Hold up. My, my thing's almost falling off. If you want to fuck a rat, they say no, no. But if that rat is man-sized, they say go, go. Same way with a chicken, or a duck, or anything that you can fuck. The animals that are small may feel like teddy bears, but it is not right to sleep with them, unless they can sit upright in a chair. Bestiality, bestiality, it is, is it wrong, the Lord says so. Bestiality, bestiality, it's not wrong if they can't see their toes. The chicken likes to hide her eggs, but you can't lay with her today. But if that hen practices yoga, then you can rip off her toga. Bestiality, bestiality, is it wrong? The Lord says so. Bestiality, bestiality, it's not wrong if you if you they can't see their toes. I hope you enjoyed the song. I practiced that all week, and that is, I did it horribly. But I played it horribly most of the week. I got it right like yesterday greatly, but. I'm still not a good keyboard player. But then again, I've only been doing it for three weeks. So. Next week, either Double Dragon or Night Swim.
you decide. Or I will decide at random. 